Tell me a little bit more about your role at UFD and how you came to there and what's your favorite part about that? The, the course that I'm teaching, I started two years ago and this fall would be the third year. So it was a total revamp of our old course that I have done it in my master program. It was very advanced statistic course lots of crazy formula of statistics using SPSS is that the old fashioned mm -hmm. software and it's not practical for MHI or master of health informatics graduates. Mm -hmm. I have never used that skills in my job or any of other graduate. Several times a students graduate gave feedback to the program director. And finally, Dr. Karim Kishavti, our recent program director, said, okay, I know that you are working data science, so give me an offer, what you can do, how you can rebound it. So I put together with one of my friends, the co-instructors, we started with the statistics in combination of SAS. The so SAS is the most popular coding software in the government institute right now in Canada. And SAS stands for software service. Yes, sir. exactly. So it's not very advanced. It's a high level of statistics, just very routine skills they may need for any research in the project or research in the, any publication or something. And they start learning with SAS and then we, they need to prepare data for their analysis. We also touching some SQL, very advanced SQL coding. And as you said, this is package for our statistic. We div uh, divided two packages, statistic, SAS, SQL, and then data science with understanding what is the basic of natural language processing, NLP. Yeah. We with this develop some synthetic EMR Mm -hmm. data oh, okay. so, so they can the students should put very Lots. messy data okay. so they have to clean it wrangling data and prepare some inside because we don't want to very jump deep in the coding it's not very we just want to they learn some very basic, basic of coding yeah for this reason i'm teaching rapid minor it's a very advanced analytics software without any coding. It's just all visual. Oh my gosh. You like just, for example, nine? Sorry? Nine, the analytics. Uh, yeah, I hear so that's adult. Yeah. It's a very, no coding again, and it's a very practical way of visualizing yeah. analytics. Yeah, rapid and that's what I one. learned when I did. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah? Yeah, it's the same thing. Yeah, yeah. But rapid mining is very advanced. Even you can design AI or deep learning wow. that one. Okay, so what's the level of knowledge that you have to have in order to be successful? Maybe not excel in the courses that you're teaching, but just be successful and finish and pass if for those interested. We just prepare them. We just let them understand what's happening in these shelters because they are very fresh students for this master program. Okay. And all the time I am doing pre-course assessment. Okay, mm -hmm. what is the level of your knowledge about the statistics or mm -hmm. data science? I know that because I group them fairly in the group assignment. Oh, okay. I don't want to put all people in, with the high level of coding in the group. Okay. So I spread out in different groups. So, so you have to have some level of coding knowledge. Exactly. Yeah. Some, some of them level of statistics. Zero. Some have zero. Yes. And they can still be successful. Yeah, because book. those assignments or all course materials support them a step by step move forward to learning more about that. Okay. And we, we are prepared them for the next level. It would be the other course. It would be about the AI, mm -hmm. but they have to play with very basic of AI. Okay. This another course. So we are pre prepared them for that. The other. And how long is that course? Two years. And it's for two different cohorts, one from regular one. There are more people from bachelor. They are coming yeah. in the regular one. And we have a practicum for them. They will go in the second year for in some companies working and implement a project, design and implement. 
also we have the other court is a executive court for yeah. some people that already they are working the system mm -hmm. they just want to hone, hone or yeah our school and hone their skills in this environment so they join us and instead of practicum they have to design and implement a project in their workplace oh got it so that Obviously. And so I'm assuming that the answer is many, but what would be the roles that someone completing this master's program would assume or would be able to look forward to? Yeah, this is that. In terms of actual titles. Yeah. I'm supporting the program director, Dr. Kishabji, in this way. We are doing some market research and do some evaluation. Okay, what's happening for all similar programs? in Canada because we have the same master program in Dalhousie, McMaster, Waterloo, Victoria and we saw that any of us we are seeing this big package in different way McMaster from business Victoria more focused on health information Victoria is Waterloo is very technical we are all the engineers are there exactly <laughs> We are seeing this one from leadership and policy made because our program is under IHPME, yeah. Institute of Health Policy and Management. Mm -hmm. So we are focusing in that environment and we are planning to improving the, the whole curriculum to train future leaders for digital health for oh, Canada. I might check it out yeah. myself.